So what, what is Pulse? Pulse is used when you want to make a weld cooler. It's typically used at a spray arc process or even on a TIG process. On stick and TIG it works very similar. MIG is totally different. On stick and on TIG you have your welding current and then you pick a lower background current and then you have what they call pulse duty or pulse on time which is the time that you are on the higher current and the higher current is the current that's displayed in the machine your maximum that's also your peak current and you pick a background typically you pick a background in percentage so a good starting number would be anywhere between uh, 25 and 50 percent for the background so right now if I'm set to if I'm set to 80 amps if I pick a background on a TIG machine or on a stick machine, it would probably be most likely anywhere between 25 and 50%. So in this case, it would be anywhere from 20 amps to 40 amps for the background. And then you would pick a pulse on time or pulse duty, depends on which machine you have, how it's called. That is the time you spend on the high side versus on the low side, on the background side. Then the third variable, so you pick your background, you pick your pulse on time, and you pick a speed. There's typically, in TIG, there's a low speed pulse and a high speed pulse. Low speed pulses are typically up to five pulses per second, and high speed pulses are typically 25, 30 pulses per second or higher. So on stick welding, there's really only a low speed pulse up to five pulses per second, and what that does is, at five pulses per second, it goes between the peak and the background five times in one second. If it's one pulse per second, then you have one peak and one background in one second. I would use pulse in order to cool the puddle down, to let the puddle solidify, to reduce my heat input, work and distortion, to not to get good penetration on the peak pulse but have less heat input on the background so that I can have full penetration with overall less heat input into the material. On stick for example it also gives me the option to run a larger diameter electrode on a overall lower setting with the pulse and have less heat input so where normally I would use a 1 16th electrode I can use a 3 32nd electrode with pulse and get the same job done. You have the peak, the background, your pulse on time and your frequency. So on this particular machine and when you do stick welding oftentimes um, there is a setting that is like the sweet spot setting on this machine where it's dialed in. You set your peak on the display, your background is fixed to 50%. It's not adjustable on this machine. Your pulse on time, the time it spends on the high setting and the low setting, is also fixed to 50%, it's a 50-50 ratio. The only thing you set on this machine is your pulse frequency. So you can set lower pulse frequencies for more pronounced ripples give it less cooldown time you can set a higher pulse setting for a more finer ripply pattern in order to turn pulse settings on here you see the pulse symbol first time you press the function button you adjust the arc force the second time you press the function button you adjust the pulse frequency you adjust pulse frequency on this machine from 0.4 pulses per second all the way up to 5 pulses per second the effect that you see with the pulse is more pronounced the slower the frequency is. Lower frequencies will give you more cooldown time, will give you a better, will give you a better effect of the pulse. I find I like pulse frequencies around 1.2 uh, pulses per second for steel. On aluminum I like 2.2. Very rarely I use a, a higher pulse and really although theoretically we could make the machine to, with a very high pulse frequency but once you, once you hit six or seven pulses per second there really is not enough cooldown time between peak pulses so you're, you're 
pulse effect, the gain you get, the desired effect you get from the pulse is vanishing the higher your pulse frequency goes. And I found that frequencies under 0.8 pulses per seconds are very hard to weld because you have a very long on time as well. And in order to turn pulse back off, pulse frequency, hold the button for a few seconds. Now you can adjust your hot start. It's at 40% and you see the pulse symbol came off. Now your pulse is turned off. Let's start where pulse was developed. Pulse was developed in order to weld a Cetoflex rods, which is like a 6010, the European version of a 6010 rod for pipeline welding to control the puddle better going vertical up with 6010 on pipe. Uh, we use it today for, um, it works excellent for stick aluminum. It works excellent on filling large gaps with even 7018 rod. It also works good for um, hard surfacing rods where you don't want to put too much heat into the base metal and you can control your material addition. It's also a, a very good feature for cast iron. Cast iron, there's two ways to weld it, either everything hot with preheat, welding, post heat, or you do this all cold. If you do this all cold with a pulse, it's an excellent feature to keep your cast iron nice and cool as you're welding it. So you will find a lot of uses to use the pulse stick, especially when you go into specialty rods or specialty situations where you have a half inch thick plate and a half inch wide gap to fill on, on steel. 7018 you can weld with pulse continu in a continuous motion without breaking the arc and filling that gap perfectly. Pulses per second is uh, a different term for hertz, the frequency. Typically a lot of manufacturers go ahead and distinguish between hertz because one hertz is one cycle per second of something and they usually use that cycle for AC take for alternating current. They use the frequency in hertz that the uh, polarity changes on the TIG machine. Now if you say Hertz on a pulse machine to relate to the pulse frequency, some people get confused between what's going on. Is it AC? What's the frequency? So that's why the manufacturers refer to as pulses per second when we come to pulse welding. It's really a frequency that is measured in Hertz. Manufacturers refer to it in pulses per second. So that's your four pulses a second, and this is your 1.2.